Right, hello peeps. Today's little issue with the or job on the ambulance is central locking. Now, central locking works on the cab. It's open, but all the back stays locked. I can lock the front, near the lock go. Back still locked. And I can open the front again and the back still stays locked. Now there is central locking fitted to the uh, outdoors on this ambulance. They're fitted to this front locker, this main door, that back locker, and this back door here. But they all remain locked and they don't work off the cab central locking. And they don't work independently. So if I unlock this, it doesn't unlock the others. So, I've been all through the wiring, and there's a lot of wiring to go through, trust me. Now, if you can see down there, that's the ambulance wiring I've got left. Anything I've needed is down there. Anything I didn't need, I've cut back above the roof. So it's not there for me to have to go through when I'm looking for something, if that makes any sense. It's, it's all up in the roof, it all runs behind all this lot, but it's all cut out of that section there, which is where all the main wiring is, as you can see. It's a bit of a mess behind there, but that's what ambulances are like. Right, now every main door on this ambulance has got these contacts. Two little stainless steel contacts on the pillar and two on the door. When they're shut, there's just enough spring, there's a little rubber ring behind them, and that gives them just enough spring so that they can contact and stay in contact with each other. Now, when I test those two contacts, if I test it with a multimeter, I don't get any voltage at it. But I think lock is live at the bottom, earth at the top, unlock is live at the top, earth at the bottom, it swaps over. And it locks all four doors. So I know the central locking works, it just doesn't work off of the van. So what I've done is, I've bought myself a remote central locking kit off of Amazon, obviously. It's just a, a relay, it's just a remote control relay. I've got a few of these remote control relays. Um, I bought a um, central locking specific one because this one will invert the live and earth. Most of the remote relay kits, they'll just switch the relay on, switch the relay off. They won't invert the live and the neutral, which is what you need for these aftermarket central locking activators. They've only got two wires. Um, it'll be live on the yellow, earth on the green, and then live on the green and earth on the yellow to lock and unlock. This does that, it inverts the live and earth. It's got two remotes, one I can carry with me, one I can have inside the van hanging up to lock it when I'm inside the van. So, to access the central locking, the only point I can actually access the central locking, and this is how I know what colour the wires are, is behind here. You can see there, there's the central locking wires. I'm assuming you can see them anyway. If not, I might be able to turn this light on and make it a bit better. Up there, central locking wires, yellow and green. If I put a pulse to these using um, a, a power probe, I can lock and unlock all the outside doors in the back, but it doesn't affect the cab. So I'm assuming there's a break somewhere or the wire's worn through because I'm saying, I know I get a pulse, but it's only like a, it doesn't even show up on a voltmeter, so it's going to be millivolts. It's, so it's not working. So what I'm trying to do is I'm going to wire this relay into that back corner because I don't know if anybody remembers, I've got a spare fuse box up there with a main live I've run around from the front for things like um, the outside lights, work lights on the outside. I'm going to put LED strips inside them so they're not only alleyway lights, they're also awning lights. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire in that relay into this corner and hopefully it will start operating the central locking. We'll see. I'm going to wire it in um, I'm not going to film it while I'm doing it because there's not a lot of room. So I'm going to wire it in and then I'm going to get back to you 
And if it works, I'll have a hack for getting the central locking working on an ambulance, if your central locking isn't working with the main cab and you can't find the wiring like me, or you've ripped it all out and need to start again. I know no matter what door I go to, if I trigger live and earth, it locks the doors. If I invert it, it unlocks the doors. So I know the central locking works on the back. It's a, it's, they're quite simple. They're just an aftermarket central locking motor. You can buy them in Halfords if you want to. So let's get on with fitting that relay and then I will get back to you and let you know how I get on. And hopefully we'll have remote central locking. I'll see you in a bit. Right, I know the lighting is absolutely awful. I'm not sure what's better. That that but this is where I've tapped into the central locking I've just literally tapped these two white wires in they run off into that central locking unit which you can't see because it's oh, let's get it out I've tucked it up here in the roof it's actually outside right behind there's the central locking unit there with its aerial I tuck it up there in the roof so it's at the highest point and if you're coming back from shopping or something like that or you want to get in the back of the van you're going to be approaching it from that side anyway because the side door is down there so I figured have the unit over this side aerial over this side and it, re it actually works further away than the uh, factory central locking does I've had it out to about ooh, what must be 50 meters and it works as advertised um, wiring's a bit of a mess behind here um, you've got switch there for the roof fan that's the direction change so that's blowing in that's blowing out and off in the middle you've got the main switch there for the uh, CCTV system which finishes down there I haven't quite decided where I'm going to put it yet I used the switch for that to hang the spare central locking key uh, this is the roof light as you can see it turns the roof light on and off and alternately when the roof lights off it turns this night light on and um, there's the controls for the roof fan and as I say this is where I've spliced into the wiring I've used these uh, low temp solder butt joints um, they're quite good for jobs like this where access is tight um, the reason I chose this corner I'll show you a bit for a picture a bit further back I chose this corner because this is beside the back door as you can see I'm sitting on the bed legs dangling down um, this side the original panel was damaged so I had to change it anyway I knew I was going to be drilling lots of holes for um, wiring and switches in this corner because it's where the head of the bed is so I remade it out of wood made sure it was well insulated and fortunately I managed to access these little buttons the back of these little buttons these are where the central locking transfers across instead of having a wiring loom that loops across inside like you have on most car doors if you look inside the front hinge of the car door you'll find a concertina rubber hinge um, these have just got contacts so they only work when the door is shut so I assume it, that stops it putting stress on the door lock not having to activate while the, the lock isn't latched as you can see that locks open so the solenoid would just buzz and it would uh, probably burn out but anyway that's how they do it in this ambulance other ambulances are going to be different but if you've got buttons like this on the door and on the door jam then you're going to have central locking and if it's not working you can just tap into it with that simple little box it's not worth me showing you the wiring because every every wiring situation is different but i'm going to tidy up this wiring put this panel back on and then i'll give you a wider view of uh, where it is and hopefully you'll uh, get a better idea of what i've done right hopefully you can see there's the back door um, there's that rear corner that rear corner is blocked in by the cupboard so I left the original UPVC same as on the ceiling covering that this side I decided to cut into three parts you've got the main part 
from that line you can just about see there down to below the bed that's fixed it doesn't come off the top part comes off so I can access that wiring you saw with that badly lit video just a second ago um, I've got I think I've showed all this before I've got hidden that you can't get to USB switches there um, night light up in there you can see there's the secondary fuse box um, this panel will be filled in but that will be left so I can still access it without having to take stuff apart um, roof vent switch etc et I just showed you that anyway this is the wiring for the CCTV I've got a screen to go on the end of that that's the four power wires and the four inputs from the four cameras this wiring has got to run up inside that ducting up to the fuse box that's for the water pump and the what will be a socket you see that red and black wire down there that will be a socket for the fridge a 15 amp um, one of these Hella 15 amp sockets is going to go down there to plug the fridge into so that's got to be tidied up but yeah that corner um, I am remade it out of wood because I knew I'd be taking it on and off to access wiring um, it was damaged anyway it had lots of holes drilled in it so that's in three pieces top part comes off with two screws so I can access the wiring middle part stays there bottom part comes off so I can access the back of the lights the rear lights are LED so they don't need bulbs changing but you know you got, I'm gonna have to access them at some point even if it's just to change them so there you are um, the central locking kit I used it probably appears in 20 or 30 different makes but this one was called a uh, flexon keyless entry system it was about 16 pound um, as I say it's not worth me showing you what wiring I did because your wiring is going to be totally different it came with a sticky pad to glue it down I'll, next time I'm outside and I access the uh, rear roof lights I shall um, get up in the roof I'm so clumsy I shall get up in the roof and I will glue the box up in the roof as I say it'll be right behind the uh, the light outside I'll show you in a second anyway where it's going to go I'm going to turn these lights out there if you can see that hanging there is the spare key for the central locking and just to prove a point all four locks lock and unlock that's hanging there so I can lock the central locking from in bed I've got two keypads for it so why not the main unit you saw me shove up in the roof is now up there behind that light next time I take that bit of tape off I will access it and glue it in place so it's at the highest point because when you walk up to the van say you've been shopping as I was saying earlier you're going to walk up to it from this side so having the aerial up there is probably the best place the central locking works on that door it works on this door which is the back of the bathroom and we'll be an outside shower eventually see it locks on that as well locks that door also locks the spine board door which is where the water tank is locks and unlocks that and it also unlocks and locks the back door nice little kit 16 quid would I recommend it um, at the moment yes we'll see how long it lasts um, I'll give you an update in I don't know six months time um, back windows look a bit of a mess I've got to repaint the back door because I resealed the window and of course it went back in a different position to where it came out I think I fitted it in upside down I'm not sure it actually looks crooked uh, yeah well never mind oh, oops. so that's where we are um, Keyless entry system, wide into the back of the ambulance, now works perfectly. The 
three lockers on this side, don't have central locking, they're only operated by the key. Only the ones on the other side. It doesn't operate the cab, the only thing that operates the cab is the cab central locking. Which at the moment isn't working on the driver's side. Let's sort that out. Let's turn off the uh, radio memory. Don't want to kill the battery. All the interior is in a mess at the moment because I was looking for the central locking wiring. And I got it all apart. Still couldn't find the central locking wiring. It's probably down there in that lot somewhere. But either way, the back central locking never works off the cab. So I decided to put a separate system in. And that's it. That's the separate system. I hope that was some use. It probably wasn't. But if it was, great. Well, right now I'm going to go over B&Q's and see if they've got any more John Guest fittings in yet and get back to the uh, water system. I'll see you later, peeps.